Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I've got Pamela back in for a fresh set. So I've already gone in and applied my Glitter Planet Easy Tips. And on this middle finger here, I'm just going in with a blob of Clear Acrylic. And this is Crystal Glass, I think it's called from CJP. And here I'm going in with, I do show you this um, in its full form further on in the video. Um, this is like a sheet of shell. Um, it's really flat, but it is hard. And I have just cut a piece off and I'm just sticking that in to the clear acrylic and I'm going to let that set a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to go in with coconut milk from CJP at the cuticle area. And now I'm just going to build my colours around the shell. As I said, I do show you in more depth in a minute the shell. Um, I realised further on down the video that I hadn't done it. So I do do it for you, I promise. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in and build my colours. I'm going to do sort of a marbly effect on this nail. Um, not worried about getting any on the shell itself, but I do clean that off um, as I go along because obviously we don't want to cover it. So the first colours that I'm going in with are, these are all from Glitter Planet, uh, sorry, Glitter Bells. And the first one was Forbidden Forest. And then I've gone in with um, Blue Velvet. And all I'm doing is using really small wet beads and just sort of marbling them into one another. This probably would have been easier if I did the marble before I did apply the shell. Um, so yeah, maybe next time I would apply the marble first and then the shell. <laughs> then I'm going in there with a small bead of Beetle Green. My camera doesn't really pick up the colours that well, but they are all absolutely stunning colours. Perfect for this set. They are so, so pretty. And then again, going in there with Forbidden Forest. Then I'm going in with Blue Velvet, Beetle Green. And a little bit of Coconut Milk from CJP. And just using the tip of my brush just to work those into one another and create my marble, making sure that I am going around and underneath the shell that we have placed down. The brush that I'm using is, of course, the Big Boy brush from CJP. I am obsessed with this set of nails. They turned out so amazing. Um, I did get inspiration from another nail technician, so I will leave um, a link to his Instagram in the description box below. So now I'm just going in, applying a small bead of clear acrylic and I'm just going to go ahead and just apply some little shards, um, iridescent glitter shards. And I'm just placing those just in random places around the nail and this just really set off the nails. It's so, so beautiful. Putting some underneath as well, just to make sure that we have got colour and glitter on all of the nail. And then I'm going to go in with some gold leaf and all I do is break up the gold leaf into really small pieces and just apply that on top of the acrylic whilst it's still wet and again I'm just applying this in random places pushing it in with my brush and this sort of breaks it up a little bit as well and makes it um, spread out a little bit more then I will let this nail set and move on to the next nail before I go in and do any encapsulating So this is what the shell looks like um, before I break it up and I just break little pieces off. You can use scissors to try and cut them off as well, but I just snap little pieces off. So on the ring finger, we're going to do a bit of a marble nail, but we are going to leave the tip clear. So I'm going in there with um, Forbidden Forest and Beetle Green. 
working quite wet and just making sure that my cuticle area is nice and flush. Then I'm taking all of my colours and this time I'm also adding liquid gunmetal, which is like a um, shimmery, grey, silvery, metallic-y kind of mixture. It's stunning. And what I'm going to do is marble that all together, but I am going to be doing it at an angle and leaving the tip clear, as you will see in a minute. And always remember when you're marbling, don't drag the colours up. You want to make sure that you're patting them into place rather than dragging them into place. There I just added a bit more of the blue velvet and coconut milk. And then I'm going to go in and leave that there. And then I'm going to go in with my clear acrylic again and also the glitter shards. And I'm just going to place some of those randomly over where the um, colour ends. And then I'm also going to go in with some of the, what's it called again? I can't remember. My mind's gone blank. What is this called? Gold leaf, that's one. I'm going to go in with the gold leaf again and just doing exactly the same technique, pushing that into the wet acrylic and then using my brush to sort of separate it a little bit. And I'm going to do this in sort of a diagonal across that join and then bring some up along with some more of the glitter onto the clear part of the tip and then I will be adding a small piece of the shell to this nail as well in um, on top of the clear part of the nail and then so what I will do for that bit is break off a smaller piece apply a wet bead of clear acrylic and then apply the shell wait for that to set a little bit and then I'm going to go around the shell again using the gold leaf. So here I'm just pressing in, making sure it's pressed in as far as possible and then going around that nail with the gold leaf just so that you don't really see the um, jaggedy lines from where it's been cut off. It's not the prettiest. And then again, I'll leave that to set before going in and encapsulating the nail. So whilst that's setting, I'm going to go in and encapsulate the middle nail. This does look absolutely horrific, but once we file it, it's absolutely fine. It looks so misshaped, so bulky and just blah. But you just want to make sure that you're encapsulating the whole nail and making sure that you're encapsulating that shell. It doesn't matter if there's pieces sticking out because that will just file off and give it more of an effect. So I'm just going to go in, encapsulate all of the nail and then encapsulate the ring finger as well, making sure that they're thick enough and making sure that everything that we've put on the nail is completely encapsulated in clear acrylic. So on to the index finger, we're going to be doing a French nail. So the first thing I'm going to do is create my extended nail bed. And for this, I am using Flawless from Nail Nails. And this is possibly my most favourite ever cover pink. It's just such a beautiful colour and it's so nice to work with. Just absolutely love this colour. 
So I place my bead at the cuticle area. I do drain the back of my bead before placing it as well. But then I place my bead at the cuticle area and use my brush, the belly of my brush, to pat that up into the shape that I want it and the side of my brush to create the smile line. Then I will go in with another bead and just make sure that it's a nice thickness and we've got an apex there because I won't be going in and filing and just making sure that you can't see anything through it. It doesn't have to be perfect because you will be going in and filing around that smile line anyway. So I just work that until I'm happy with it and then I'll leave that to set before going in and doing anything else. I think this has to be my favourite nail. I'm obsessed with this nail. It turned out so, so nice. So happy. Um, I will leave links in the description box below um, to where I got everything from or everything that I can remember where I got it from and also any discount codes. Pinky, we're just going to do a full marble nail. So I'm taking Forbidden Forest and blue velvet and beetle green and just applying the wet beads to the nail and again using the tip of my brush to marble those into one another and again going in with a bit of liquid gum metal and I'm just going to work that all the way down the tip of the nail and then again going in with some of the glitter shards that we have used on the other nails and then I will leave that to set before going in and encapsulating that nail as well. So once that had set up a little bit, I do go in and encapsulate the entire nail using clear acrylic. Again, making sure that the whole nail has gone matte to ensure that I've covered it completely. Then I'm going to go back on to the index finger. And we're going to make it look pretty. It's going to look beautiful. So once the index finger had set, I do go in and file around that smile line. I had to take the tip off to do it because it just kept falling out. So I just went in with a 100 grit nail file and just filed around that smile line to make sure that it is nice and crisp. And now I'm going in with a really thin layer of a mixture of the blue velvet and beetle green. And I'm just using this as a base layer for our shell. And I'm just going to cover the entire tip with this, making sure that I push it nice and close to the smile line. It doesn't matter if you get it on the nude because you will be going in and filing. Then I'm going to go in and cover the entire nail in little pieces of the shell, just press, bleh, pressing, <laughs> just pressing them into the wet acrylic. And I'm just using a small pair of little tweezery things for this bit because it was a little bit fiddly. If it doesn't stick, I will go in with a little bit more clear acrylic um, just to make sure that it's got something to stick to and it's not going to move when I do go in and encapsulate the nail. So to fill some of the little gaps, I'm going to go back in with the gold leaf again, um, just pressing that into the wet acrylic and then I'm going to go in again with some of the glitter, just placing that in just random places, basically filling in any gaps 
and then I'll let that set completely before going in and encapsulating it because if we went in while it was wet, everything we've just placed will just move about the nail and create one big mess. <laughs> and we don't want that. So I'll let you guys just finish watching this. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. I'm absolutely obsessed with these nails. So here I'm just going in with some of the little shards of glitter. Now that's set, I'm going to go in and encapsulate this nail completely, making sure that everything is completely capped in clear acrylic. And then I'm going to go ahead and file. I was so annoyed. Oh, my God. So I made sure that my camera was set up so that you could see the filing. Um, and then I forgot to press record. <laughs> so annoyed. It pissed me off so, so much. Excuse my language. But I was so angry. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, I didn't actually get the filing on camera. But what I did is on the middle finger, I went over with my... Melody Susie e-file just to remove the bulk and then I went over them all with a 100 grit nail file, filed the surface of the nails, the side walls, the free edge and just made sure that the cuticle area was nice and flush and that they just looked beautiful because right now the colours are all there, they're all beautiful but they're not as beautiful as they are going to be. So yeah, I just went in, filed all of the nails and then buffed over using a white buffing block to remove any scratches that were left from the nail file. And then I will get rid of the dust and then go in with top coat, which is just mesmerising. Oh my God, this bit is just life. So I'm using my Nail Lounge Collection's Ultimate Gloss Top Coat and I'm just going to top coat all of the nails and bring them to life. This is the most satisfying top coat I think I've ever done in my life. I tried so hard to like angle the camera and the light in the right positions to make sure <laughs> I got it all. But just look at those colours. Oh, it's just so pretty. It looks so nice. They almost look like they've got little LED lights in with the glitter that I used. So I will go in and top coat all of the nails and then cure those for one minute in my LED lamp. If you're using a UV lamp, you do need to cure for two minutes. And then once they had fully set, cured even, once they were fully cured, I will then take them out of the lamp. And then if this was on real hands, I would go in and apply some cuticle oil once they had cooled down. And then that is it, guys. So I am absolutely obsessed with this set of nails. I love them so, so much. So if you like these, please don't forget to give them a big thumbs up. Oh, look at that nail. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm obsessed with this nail. But yeah, if you like them, don't forget to give them a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you're on Instagram or Facebook, please check out my pages at Jodie's Nail Lounge. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.